Hey guys, Josh Kelly here. We're out at Atlantic City Country Club and today we're going to talk about a chipping video and we're really going to dive into what bounce is and how to use bounce. Because bounce is your friend when we are chipping and really any short game shots, shots out of the bunkers or whatever it may be. So what is bounce? Not enough people understand what it is. They don't understand what club they have set up and they don't know what shot they should hit because I see a lot of golf instructors out there talk about a certain technique but they don't talk about the conditions and their club selection their club setup is going to really determine what shot you need to hit so number one what is bounce bounce is the angle uh, on the back of the club here as you sit the club down on a flat surface you're gonna you're gonna see that your wedge the leading edge is gonna be off the ground that's because of the bounce of the wedge and bounce is basically what it's called there it allows the club to bounce off the turf or off the ground Okay, so this is our loft angle here running this way. My bounce angle is gonna run this way. So opposite of that. And every club is gonna have a different bounce. Um, you know, so it just really depends on what bounce you have. My six degree wedge has eight degrees of bounce. And my 55 degree wedge here has 10 degrees of bounce. Okay, so I have more bounce on my 55 than I do my 60. Now you have to understand when you open the club up, it adds bounce to the club. So we have eight, eight degrees of bounce here with my shaft vertical, straight up and down, okay? As I start to open this club, we are gonna have that leading edge come off the ground more. So you have to understand, the more you open the club, the more you add bounce, okay? For me, my 55 degree has more bounce on it. So the more I open this, I'm adding a ton of bounce here. So less bounce is better for firmer conditions and we need more bounce for the softer conditions, okay? So if I'm standing on concrete and I have a lot of bounce, meaning this leading edge is gonna be off the ground quite a ways, when I go to hit, just say off concrete, a really hard surface, I'm gonna blade that ball because the leading edge is so high. Now, if I'm hitting off really soft conditions and I have no bounce coming into the, the ground, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna absolutely dig, okay? And if I don't hit ball first, I'm gonna be chunking the golf ball. Okay, so our conditions here are really gonna determine our setup. I played uh, a bunch of pro-ams and one pro-am with Cameron Smith, he had four different wedges in his bag, four different 60 degree wedges. In his practice round, he was trying to determine which one to go to because there's so many different conditions that these tour players playing. Uh, they're, they're different grass, they're different you know, softness, different textures. So they're gonna choose different clubs. Okay, most of the time, some guys will keep the same club on tour and they will kind of manipulate their, their technique or whatever it may be. So let's talk about this here for a second. If I have a lot of bounce, okay, let's say I'm opening them up, up my 60 degree wedge here. It's really gonna let me glide through the grass, okay? I'm not gonna be able to dig because there's no, there's nothing digging into the ground here. This is a rounded piece, this bounce part. Now the only thing in the club that's gonna let us dig is the leading edge. Okay, so if I close the club face, what does that do? At, open it, adds loft, close it, or opening it, adds loft and adds bounce. Closing it takes away loft and takes away bounce. So if I close this wedge here, what does it do? It digs into the ground like a shovel, okay? If I open it up, okay, I can hit this ground pretty much as hard as I want and it's gonna jump off. So you have to understand your conditions. Are your fairways really tight? Are they really firm? If yes, if you answered yes to that, maybe you're playing in Scotland, whatever it is, you're gonna need less bounce on your wedges, okay? Or is your fairways really longer? Do you, do your, does your uh, course that you play in typically have uh, soft and wet conditions? If the answer is yes to that, then you need something with more bounce. Most amateurs that I see out there could benefit for having more bounce uh, regardless of the situation. So really bounce for the most part is gonna be your friend. Now, out here at Land State Country Club, we do have firm conditions lately. The only thing is right now, they just watered this area here, which is why I selected this. So this is a little wet. So I can sit here with my 60 degree wedge and if I open it up and add bounce, the club is still letting me get through it. So I know I have plenty of bounce here. If I didn't and if it was a little bit softer, I'd go with my 55 degree wedge here, open it up, add some bounce, and let me kind of glide through that. Okay, so that's a little quick overview on bounce. Now let's talk about a little more technique here for hitting these shots. So 
So when I'm hitting the club selection, you'll see a lot of tour pros practice beside their ball and they're gonna hit the ground and they wanna see kinda of how their club uh, reacts to that to the, determine what kind of shot they need to hit here. Okay, so we have a little uh, about 15, 20 yard chip here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with my 60 degree wedge. Now, as I set up here to this ball, if I like lead the, if I lead with the leading edge and the hands forward and let the leading edge dig, I can still hit this shot properly, but I need to make sure I'm hitting ball first and then turf second. Okay, we see people like Phil Mickelson, uh, Jordan Spieth, other golfers out there, Bubba Watson, they use this technique sometimes. They'll lean the leading edge, or they'll lean the, the, the shaft, they'll let the leading edge dig, but they're so skilled that they know where to hit the ball and they're not digging into the ground. Okay, so the easiest technique here is to open this club face up a little bit. Okay, we're opening up the club face and we're adding bounce, right? So with this club face open and with the bounce really exposed and me adding bounce, taking this eight to like a 12 or so, I know I can hit the ground pretty much anywhere, a little bit behind the golf ball. I have a lot more room for error because this club is gonna kind of just glide around along the ground and it's not gonna dig. So an open club face here, adding bounce, I know that I have a lot more room for error. What we're doing is we're essentially just letting this club head and the shaft return to back where it started. So it started here, and when I get to here, it's gonna return, it's gonna return back to where it started from hitting the shot here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get real wide with our hands and arms. We're gonna let the club bounce into the ground, and we're gonna hit one up there close to the hole. Okay, nice high and soft, and it almost went in. That would have been nice. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. All right, we're gonna give ourselves a really bad lie here because again, so many people fail to tell you this. Your technique might change depending on your conditions. Okay, if I have really firm conditions here and this is not wet at all, and I open this club face up and I decide to bounce it into the ground, and it's really, really firm and tight, guess what? The club is gonna bounce off the ground and it's gonna bounce into the ball and I'm gonna blade it. So that same technique might not be the best for each shot. Another thing is, just say I'm in a hole here. Okay, we're gonna put our ball in a hole. Okay, say it's just in a divot or something. If my ball's in a divot and I'm underneath the ground here and I try to bounce it into it, guess what? I'm gonna be bouncing it into this ball. Okay, so if I try to bounce this with this ball being, you know, a quarter away into a divot, I'm gonna blade it. So I might have to change my technique up here because I'm in a hole. What I would do here is we're gonna have to dig this down and, and dig the leading edge. So what I need to make sure I do is to hit ball first and divot second because if I hit anywhere behind this ball with digging the leading edge, the ball is gonna go absolutely nowhere. So I'll put it just a slightly further back in my stance. Weight needs to be forward so I can make sure I'm hitting in front of the ball and I'm going to be leading the shaft too, okay? So we're making sure that we're going to dig in. And this is not an easy shot with this ball being buried, but we know if, as long as I make contact with ball first and then turf second, I'll be okay. Okay? And that just about went in too. Okay, you see the club dug and basically stopped as I hit that shot. It like dug and stopped because I dug the leading edge, but I made sure that I hit ball first and did it second. So understand your conditions you're playing in. Understand the shot that you need to happen. If you are going to be digging the leading edge like we see people do, you can do that for certain shots. You have to make sure you're hitting ball first and did it second. But the more high percentage shot that I wanna see you guys go to more often is adding bounce and letting the club bounce off the ground. Why is that? Because we have a higher room for error. We can hit an inch behind the golf ball and be fine as long as we have the correct bounce for our conditions. So again, we're gonna open this club face up and we're gonna be really wide with our hands and our arms on the way back. We're gonna feel like our shoulders are gonna rotate through. We're using our upper body to hit most of the shot. We had the weight 60% on our lead side here, but we're remembering to still rotate and we're returning this club back to square. 
and that's just a high soft beautiful shot if you don't already make sure you're looking at your conditions take a look at your wedge setup okay ask somebody if you're not sure uh, what your club selection setup is ask your local pro have him work with you on that because bounce setup is so important like I said most of the time you're gonna want to see more bounce on your wedges that's why it's easier to hit your 52 degree wedge around the green as opposed to your 60 not only because of the loft situation because your gap wedge is going to have more bounce okay so it makes it easier to hit these shots so add more bounce next time you're chipping and pitching guys thanks so much for watching if you want more of these instructional videos click the like and subscribe button uh, you're going to see my course vlogs that I do here uh, golf trick shots you're going to see golf instruction I kind of take care of pretty much everything but if you do watch my course vlogs you'll see that my short game is the best part of my game here so I really really enjoy working on my short game and I really enjoy talking about it so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up click the subscribe button thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time